What's she done now? You, go to your room right now. Right now. Beat it. Look, whatever it is, she's your problem now. No, there is no problem. Then beat it. We're watching TV. Mr. Wormwood, if you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Now, why don't you turn that darn thing off and listen to me? <sighs> All right, come on and get this over with. Mrs. Wormwood's not going to like this. Come on, get in. <sighs> Close the door. Who is it? Some teacher says she's got to talk to you about Matilda. <clears throat> What'd you do that for? You have Velasquez on the ropes. What do you want? I'm sure you're aware by now that Matilda has a brilliant mind. Yeah, right. Mikey, give me a beer. Her math skills are simply extraordinary. She's reading material that I... Want one? Oh, no, thank you, dear. M material that I didn't see until my second year of college. Oh, college. <laughs> college. I really feel with private instruction that, that she'd be ready for college in just a few short years. Look, Miss Snit. A girl does not get anywhere by acting intelligent. I mean, take a look at you and me. You chose books. I chose looks. I have a nice house, a wonderful husband, and you are slaving away teaching snot-nosed children their ABCs. You want Matilda to go to college? <laughs> <laughs> college? I didn't go to college. I don't know anybody who did. Bunch of hippies and cesspool salesmen. <laughs> Sneer at educated people, Mr. Wormwood. If you became ill, heaven forbid, your doctor would be a college graduate. Yeah. Or, or say you were sued for selling a faulty car. The lawyer who defended you would have gone to college, too. What car? Sued by who? Who you been talking to? No, nobody. Oh, dear, I can see we're, we're not going to agree, are we? Sorry, I burst in on you like this. Sorry. You want to sue her for interrupting our show. 